<laughs> what? Hey guys, um, I'm outside in uh, in Iceland right now, and I thought that was the perfect occasion to show you just really quickly um, how to take pictures of the Northern Lights because there is um, a huge display tonight of um, Aurora Borealis and. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the uh, you know the, the the gear and how to how to set up your your camera, your timer, and your lenses. So I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible because the aurora is fleeting. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do right now. Right, so I am on my Sony A7S. Uh, as you can see, you can see Aurora uh, in the background. You can't really see it now because it's too dark. And I have the Sigma 50 millimeters f1.4 uh, art lens and a Metabone adapter to Sony. Right, so what do we want to do is first we want to focus. So I'm going to go ahead and select the lights in the far horizon and I'm gonna adjust the, the focusing ring until uh, these lights appear pinpoint sharp. Right, so uh, what you should do about the settings. Since I have my intervalometer, um, I'm gonna go on bulb and I can keep it wide open if I want to. If I want a little bit more sharpness, I can put it at, let's say, 2 or 2.2, 2.5. That should be okay. And then, and then ISO, um, I can try with ISO 3200. All right, so let's see what it does. All right, so two seconds. Okay, let's see. I'm going to play back this photo and there you go. Uh, I actually want a little bit more brightness because I can't really see the, uh, the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reduce this little, that a little bit and I'm going to go for six seconds. So it's just a matter of adjusting. Uh, you don't want to blow out your highlights. That's the problem with the Northern Lights. You can't you never predict how bright they're going to be. Uh, so this is the result of the last photo. Right, so that's a little bit better. The highlights, they don't seem at the center of the aurora, the green. They don't seem to be, to be um, blown. And the foreground has a bit more has a little bit more brightness so I'm gonna like that on my final photo. I can go ahead and probably bump up just a little bit more until uh, I start to see blown highlights in the green of the aurora and then I'll, I'm gonna have the correct exposure. Alright guys so I really hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, that is gonna help you catch your first northern lights in a single picture of course. As you will get better and better, you will want to use other techniques, but this should help you get started. I encourage you also to watch my other tutorials and regular astrophotography, which should help you know more about cameras, lenses and settings and processing your pictures. Don't forget, please, to share, like, subscribe and of course, comment in the section below. Take care. Bye bye.